Yeah, I'm Don Mosier. I'm a council member from the city of Del Mar, and I'm also a scientist at Scripps Research Institute. Um, I wasn't paying attention to this issue until last year. Uh, the example of Fukushima raised our concerns about public safety of nuclear reactors. And our city's concern about uh, safety of San Onofre was, was raised after the failure. Uh, and the more we learned from the NRC's work, the more technical data we learned, the larger our concern became. So we were one of eight coastal cities to adopt a resolution asking for no restart to a full license amendment hearing. And our council reached that decision after hearing conflicting testimony from Southern California Edison people and from uh, Dan Hirsch and Arnie Gunderson and other nuclear experts who had totally opposite opinions. Safety is very important for um, a public official, and our council decided that a restart of San Onofre with our current level of knowledge is unsafe for our citizens. And we were recently joined by the San Diego County School District who adopted the resolution identical to ours. I just want to close by saying a little something about modeling because in my day job as a scientist, I use computer modeling. There was a computer model used for this design. The design failed, it was flawed. Now we're using computer models to assess risk. No computer model is valid until it's been tested in a real life situation. And the only way to test it is to run the reactor at full power and see if your computer model is verified. And the question I'm going to leave for answer later is, can a restart at 70% predict safety when this reactor was designed to run at 100%? And must the reactor be run at 100% to meet the licensing conditions? So I'd like to end my comments there. Um, Thank you. Thank you, John. Yes, sir. I'm here tonight representing San Diego Mayor Bob Filner, and I'd like to read Mayor Filner's letter into the record. Dear Commissioners, I write this letter in regards to Southern California Edison's request for permission from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to restart Unit 2 Nuclear Reactor at San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station for five months at 70% power to determine if the same problems that caused the failure of the steam generator in Unit 3 on January 31, 2012 will reoccur. The NRC has previously determined that both Unit 2 and Unit 3 steam generators had similar serious design flaws and errors in computer models used for the design. The restart of Unit 2, even at reduced power, is a dangerous experiment that threatens the safety of 8.2 million Southern California 8.2 8 million Southern California residents living within a 30, I'm sorry, within a 50 mile radius, including much of San Diego. Any decision on the potential restart of Unit 2 should be preceded by a public, transparent license amendment hearing before the NRC with sworn testimony by experts who support or oppose the restart so all impacted residents can understand the risks involved. The Public Utilities Commission is, in, is investigating the customer rate charges associated with the year-long shutdown of songs. Any decision to restart Unit 2 should consider public safety first. But also, also the high cost to consumers for reduced power generation of 700 megawatts versus 2200 megawatts when songs was fully operative. Attorney General Kamala Harris has filed as an intervener in the CPUC hearing, and any decision to restart songs at any level should consider the reliability and costs compared to a future based on alternatives, including efficiency, load management, demand response, renewable energy, and energy storage. I urge you not to authorize the restart of songs until both a full license amendment hearing has been conducted by the NRC and 
the CPUC finishes its investigation. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, that is uh, Mayor Filner, or Dr. Rob Wilder, my public advocate for energy and climate sustainability at 619-236-6330. And that is signed, sincerely, Bob Filner, Mayor of San Diego. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen and thank, you for, thank you for holding this meeting. I'm Dave Roberts, and I am a county supervisor in the county of San Diego. I'm the first new elected supervisor in 18 years in San Diego. I'm also the father of five young children. This issue is critical to San Diego County. When I was elected, I believe one of the main reasons I won my election to represent not only the 640,000 people in my district, which includes my district is 60% of the city of San Diego where Mayor Filner is mayor, plus I have four other incorporated cities in my district, but I believe it's also my responsibility to speak on behalf of the 3.2 million people in the county of San Diego. I'm here today to testify to ask that songs remain closed until every safety issue has been resolved. Public safety and not money and not nuclear power must be our number one concern. I'm also extremely concerned about worker safety at this plant and I hope the workers recognize that fact. So the San Onofre um, reactors must not be restarted until the NRC's investigation is thoroughly completed and the public has been assured of the plant safety. The NRC was created, and I quote, to ensure the safe use of radioactive materials while protecting the people and the environment. There's over 7.4 million people that live within 50 miles of San Onofre, and many are in my district. And they deserve to have the peace of mind that these reactors are safe and pose no health risk to their families. The people of San Diego must be able to sleep at night knowing that this plant is safe. It's critical that the NRC conduct this investigation at San Onofre in an open and transparent manner and that any and all corrective actions be taken at the plant. It's also important that we cut through all the rumors and innuendo and get right to the only question that matters and to answer that question. And that question is, is this plant safe? Until the answer is yes, I urge you not to restart San Onofre. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good evening, my name is Mike Nichols and I'm the mayor of Solana Beach, California. We're a small coastal community located about 30 miles downwind of San Onofre in San Diego County, obviously. Thank you, Mr. Roberts, for uh, being here this evening representing San Diego and our community. We, um, you know, public safety to us is number one. And I'm here tonight representing the community and our city council. And our city council unanimously voted to support the recommendations brought forth by Senator Boxer and Senator Feinstein. With that, we call for a full, thorough, and transparent investigation regarding the operations, the design, and the engineering, the safety of not only the plant, but the safety of the workers, the, emer the emergency preparedness and evacuation of the uh, affected areas in case of disaster, and the geological issues, including tsunamis and earthquakes. <laughs> and how all of these relate to the facility that you're looking at today and this evening. Now, I'm not a scientist, and I don't think you really need to be a scientist to understand what it means to our region if there is a disaster and the effects to our economy, our environment, our community's health, and most of all, our quality of life and our families. We, are, we appreciate the fact that you are taking safety as your number one priority. With that, we want to just let you know that you're entrusted with our public safety and the eight million individuals who live within the area surrounding songs. We hope that you would conduct an adjudicated hearing with sworn testimony and a license amendment agreement uh, process as outlined by Senator Boxer before allowing any of the units to restart. We appreciate your time and attention to this uh, into this endeavor. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Lee Haydu, Deputy Mayor of Del Mar. I've also been involved with this for since last June. I've learned a lot about songs and all the, the problems that we've had with the unit, with all of our unit, the units. Also, we've learned a lot from the problem with Fukushima, and that is one thing that we cannot ignore. And they're still suffering there because of that. We do not want that to happen here. Every time we meet with some public officials, we always ask, what is the exit route for all of us? We all know there's no evacuation route. So until we could be guaranteed that this plant is safe, I do not want it to be reopened because, and I'm speaking for that as a private citizen, also as a city council member of Del Mar representing 4,000 people, I cannot say that they would be safe if it reopens without all the right hearings that need to go forth. The other thing is, is that with no, no evacuation route, it's a, very hard to guarantee that we're going to be safe. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andy Schrader, representing Los Angeles City Council Member Paul Koretz, who represents 250,000 people in the city of Los Angeles. I want to thank the NRC for holding this hearing tonight. Southern California Edison has long been a strong partner with LA's Department of Water and Power in providing a safe, affordable, reliable grid for all of us. My boss has had an excellent working relationship with Edison for many years and has, had a number, had, and has a number of friends among their employees. He looks forward to a continuing good relationship. I'm here tonight to talk about San Onofre. Now, LA's Palo Verde nuclear generating station went through a license amendment process when it upgraded power and replaced its steam, steam generators back in approximately 2003 and 2005, and it has not subsequent, subsequently suffered any design flaws or operational problems. So it seemed prudent and reasonable to request the same thorough vetting of San Onofre's replacement generators if that did not occur in the first place. Yet, when the council member introduced a resolution requesting such, quite a number of folks let's say, showed great concern. That was a little troubling, to say the least. What is also troubling is the recent report from Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, which Senator Boxer disclosed last week, and which the LA Times reported, and I'm quoting, the report indicates that Edison and Mitsubishi were aware of serious problems with the design of San Onofre nuclear power plants, replacement steam generators, before they were installed, end quote. And there's clearly more to it than that. Also troubling is that you scheduled this meeting conveniently tonight during a big news cycle during the State of the Union, which has been scheduled for months. I have to tell you, you are not inspiring great confidence up north. And frankly, that's what you most need to inspire with dealing with nuclear power. Confidence from electeds and from the public. Any wrong decision will seriously impact the entire nuclear power industry at a time we desperately need to get off of coal. Now, there's no stronger advocate for workers' rights and fair wage jobs than my boss. What you decide about San Onofre steam generators seriously affects the lives and safeties of all these workers and of our neighbors here surrounding the plant, all of which are very important to my boss. I know there are serious financial considerations con concerning San Onofre. I want to give you a few from where we sit in Los Angeles. The Port of Los Angeles, when it was closed a few, week, uh, few months ago, cost the U.S. economy an estimated $1 billion a day. One billion dollars. Anything goes wrong with San Onofre, it goes wrong with the busiest port in the country. And if anything goes... 
And if anything goes wrong, it also goes wrong with Interstate 5, the major north-south commerce and tourism corridor of Southern California. That's billions more dollars at stake for the California economy. And we've heard a lot about evacuation plans. I want to say it very clearly, evacuation is not an option for 10 million people. So whatever decision that NRC and the ASLB makes about San Onofre, my boss, many other LA City Council members and residents are paying close attention because it affects us as well. Whatever Edison and Mitsubishi did initially regarding the replacement steam generators, license amendment or not, it didn't work. And you need to do it, you need to, you must do it differently. This time you need to get it right. You need to get it right for the Port of Los Angeles, for Interstate 5, for the people of Los Angeles, for our neighbors surrounding the plant, and most importantly, for all the workers of San Onofre you see here tonight. Thank you. Let me take you some a little bit of context for you. We, the NRC did ask, heard from local government officials who wanted to, to talk about this issue tonight, and we put them on in this slot. We didn't ask only local government officials who were concerned about San Onofre. There may be other local government officials who don't have those, those, those concerns. And I don't know if anybody is here. Is there a local government official here while we have the local government representatives here who wants to say anything else. Okay.